Welcome back to the rig review and today I'm going to take a look at the Knight Spider Rig. This is a free Maya rig. This is part of a The Rookies contest. I was given this rig ahead of time, but if you go to their website, you will see an outline of what this contest is, what you can do, the dates, different types of contest categories. And you also have the page where you can download the rig and it has some overviews and helpful training videos for support and so on. So check those out. Link in the description, of course, with all of that. I will also have the rig on the Animation Buffet site, and that will point to the Rookies website. It's just the collection that I have here, so check that out as well. You'll find all kinds of reviews and just rigs that are posted. And if you have any rigs that you want me to review, you can always email me as well. And before I want to check out the rig, I want to play this here. This is an overview, in a way, a little test animation of what the rig is capable of. It's really cute. It's very appealing. Those arms just look like fun. So you can see what this can do. Well, let's get back to Maya. This is what you get. Just make sure you link up the textures, but that's the look of it. And as always, let's start with the main controllers. You got your main one here. That is only this in the channel controls. This is just to move the whole thing. As you can see, it's very light. You have an inner control here that gives you sub visibility, which means it gives you even more extra little controls here. And if you take these off, when you have this one, you can see the pivot in the middle. And this actually can be moved over. So when you select it now, you have a pivot over here, which is really cool. And actually, I wish that every rig had that instead of doing this manually. Now you can set this up wherever. Let's put this up at the top of the head. You select this and now it pivots from here. This is super handy. I like it. And as always, with multiple controllers, you can technically take one down. If you don't have that pivot thing to bring it down, say to here. And now the pivot of the main controller is here. If you know you want this spider to fly around, <laughs> that's kind of that. But I'm really liking this. That's a really cool idea. So again, on the side here, sub visibility, that was for that. Now these guys don't have sub visibility. That's all you get. Let's get this off. Let's get to the feet. There's a plenty of stuff there in the channel controls. So first of all, you can just move this around. You can move this around like this. And when you move this around, you have a little bit of continuation of the knee, but you also have this control as a pull vector to move this around. And you also have a follow that you can activate. So now when you do this, you can see that it doesn't do anything. So that is the difference here. Follow yes or not. Uh, when you go back here, maybe bring out the foot to the normal position here. You have scale options that are locked. You have sub visibility. So you have an extra controller as well. There's nothing else on there, but that's what you have on this one, which is good. Again, you can change in terms of world space on or off. You have twist. So you can do this either like this or with that. There's auto twist on off, auto twist offset. You also have stretch. Actually, let me go down here. Stretch, as always, like this. Also, dampen control. You have the world or hip follow, yes or no. You have control visibility. So you have more here, more lambs red. And then you have a general control like this. This is for your ball roll. This is your toe roll, heel roll, yaw, yaw roll. To rotate, ball pivot, and then you got toe pivot and heel pivot as well. But since these are on, you can see this here. This is for rotation like that. This was already on, but this is for this. And this is your pivot from the front, if that's what you prefer. There's actually one back here. Beep. And then you select the big one, that's the same thing. So you have all of that added there. This in the back gives you IK, FK switch, like such. And if you download this and you check out your folder, you technically have a drag and drop. And once you drop that in, it gives you a tool that opens up here. So you have IK to FK switch without any pops. It's very smooth switching. You can choose on current frame, time slider, or custom, and you can change between uh, proxy and high res. So if you have nothing selected and you switch to proxy, it's not going to work. So you have to select a con, switch to proxy. But then after that, it understands your uh, namespace and then you can switch back and forth. It makes it very, very light, even a lighter. Let's go back to the high risk just for pretty sake. All right, that's that for the leg. If I select here again, follow, there is no um, pin. There is no knee pin, which is a bummer. I would love to see that included. Obviously it's on both sides here. We go up here and then you have that that you can detach. No scale though. I would love to see some scale, but you can somewhat rotate this but it's mostly for replacing like this you can see how far this stretches here you get to this section here right there 
that will be your rig hip again no scale i wish there was a bit more or a bit more any uh scale i was a big fan of scale so you can kind of reshape the character that is your main route da, 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 da. sub visibility so again this has a bunch of these which i like a lot so if you don't want to go into animation layers you can do it through that big fan of this you can go up here and that is your lower body in a way control no scale but you can go one more in and again this has sub controls yes or no so this was on already and if you select that again you have just that section here but you can translate this as well no scale unfortunately and then you have these guys here so that can be rotated like that no scale but you can also translate this in all axes anywhere and if you go up you're gonna have the same thing here and just double check if I miss anything in the channels. No, nothing here. You go one up here. Same thing. Sub visibility. Rotate. Translate. Same thing here. Translate and rotate, but no scale. Select this and you have sub visibility, of course. You also have stretch on and off. So if you take this and you translate this. Let me reference the geometry here. You can select that. You can see that the stretch can be on or off so basically you move this really high to uniform stretch if you do this it will change the way this is going to stretch it's so the stretch bulge so you can see how much this can be affected here but let's go back these are the same here as noted before this is for all of these here you have the separate control here or that one that selects all of them as you can see channel controls there's nothing there. Let's move to an arm. So you got this one here. You got your IK. Move this around. No scale. You have this separately. So for this, you can't do anything with it. This is just for options here. This is your IK FK switch. And just in case here to show you, this is your elbow. Same thing here. You got your follow option and the follow option in here as well. No pin in this one either, unfortunately. But if you go back here, you got the finger controls if you want them. You have all of these like that if you want, unless you want to select them separately, of course. There's nothing else except that, but you can scale. First time you can scale things here. Let's go back to this control. You have the spread as well, the spread base. You can do both, of course. And then you have relax. This gets you into a pose, outer relax. And then you have inner cup and outer cup. And of course you can go in there and select all of these separately. This is for all three. And this is, of course, on both sides. Now, before I continue, though, you can select this here. And you have this, which is the body control. But then you also have facial control. We'll get to it later. And then you have toonie controls. The toonie are the ones that give you the bembos. You have that here. No scale. So you can just stay within this form. You also have upper arm. So you have all of these separately. And then you have toonie for that let me turn the toonies off here and this is just basically controls on off for all of these including that and also up there you have the render proxy yes or no option if you don't have the script loaded let's get to the face although if we go to the fan control since we're already here you have the cog back here that does the sub visibility on off of the head and an ikfk on the head and then here you got your squash and stretch. You got that wang for the top part. You got the wang for the middle part. We're gonna punch him in the face sideways here. And the bottom part, it's eating a couple of flies here. Then let's go to the eyes. This is your main controller that moves everything around. Checking the child controls. Do we have scale? No. You have, as it says here, it's locked. You have pupils though. So you have that change through there. You have eye meat, so you can so move this up here. And then you can see the eye meat is as it's spelled M-E-A-T, -E as in the flesh. So if it follows or not. And then you have overall world or head follow and also follow on off. So let's put this back to zero and you can see this here. So if I move this around and I move the head around, it's going like this. And if I select this and I go back to follow, it's like that. So the con... It's also the Hecon is driving the iFollow con. So lots of options there, which is pretty neat. 
Let's get a bit closer to this. We have that, which opens the mouth. In here, you have auto slide, different options here. And then let's go actually, well, let's close it a little bit more. We can get to this where you have your cheek control and you also just have a general cheek puff if you want. It does scale just in case, and this is on both sides, obviously. Then we can get to bigger cheek control, lower leg control. This is one that selects all of them. And then you have separate controls here. You can rotate these if you want to move things around like that. And you also have scale. This is on both sides. And that's actually also for the eyes. Might as well go up here before we can go into the mouth. This is your overall lid, which you can also rotate, not scale. But here you have these uh, separate controls. You want to shape and sculpt all of this. Same thing here. These guys have sub visibility on off. So this goes all the way here. Same thing here. So sub visibility on off or extra fine control, as you can see here. And same thing here, you can rotate and then translate all of these. Same with the eyebrows. So this is that here. You can't do anything to scale. This is just translate, but you can translate in. So take this and take that and get a nice furrow. Whoops. Shape here. If I get to it, there you go. And you have, well, this one that will select all of them. This also have sub visibility. So lots of fine control. You can rotate all of this. And you can also scale, actually. And then you have this one, which actually does a full movement of everything. This is just translates. Yes. Getting to the mouth, you have your mouth corners. Grab these like that. Shape these around. You can see how much it influences the textures around it. Of course, you have fine control. Then on the other one, going back channels, you have zip. So if you would actually close the mouth completely, somewhat, ooh, actually, it's not good to test here. If you push it up, it has a bit of a squash in there. That's good to know. Let's keep it back open a little bit. So you select this one. This will be for your main top shape, which you can then rotate and scale. And in here, you also have roll. So this will roll your lips in and out. And also bulge, okay? There's a very <laughs> fine scale here. So you're going to bulge your lips as a whole. Then you have this as a general mover. So you can move this around like that. You can rotate and you can scale the mouth. And then the bottom part is the same thing here. You can move this around, rotate and scale. And same thing, roll and bulge control. Same thing here with your zip. That is the same here on the cheeks and the uh, upper part here all the way to the lids. We have this here as a main control. So this is to move this whole thing around. You can scale those eyes. You can also rotate this around. And that's that for the channel control there. And I believe that is that. Just in case, selecting the neck controls here. Rotate order you have in the channel controls. And then that's it. You can translate but you cannot scale, but you can rotate, of course. And then you have the uh, the main head control. You have a follow translate, follow here, and follow rotate as well. Scale, somewhat. It does something with a scale. Okay, but you can pull. You can still do a bunch of stuff. Generally, I wish it had some more scale options. Okay, posing this guy out. One thing that I noticed actually, once you have the the bendy ones, you can technically take this guy and then pull him somewhere. And that, besides the stretchy bulge aspect, uh, I think that I missed, that will actually serve as a pin, I would say. You can take that and then well, somewhat pin it. I mean, I think you can constrain this. And then if you take your arm, it should move. So actually, let's try this. So now technically, this is like that. So if I move my arm control, you can see that the elbow stays put. So I think that's one way to do this. So that's good to know. I missed that. I didn't make that connection that these guys could serve as pins. But yeah, 
I don't, I don't, I think it would be neat to have it still as a separate control that's part of, you know, your knee pull vector and just have that there instead of activating um, the toony stuff. But I don't know, I can see that as well. I mean, why not? And you can do that with these as well if you want. But that's kind of that. It's very nice and light. It's fun to pose out. I'm curious what people are going to do with it. And that's it from me. So hopefully this was helpful. As always, link in the description with all the information regarding the contest and the rig. And if you like this, you can always hit the like and the subscribe button and the bell button. I don't like the pitch at the end, <laughs> the usual YouTube stuff. But that's it from me. Thank you for watching. And hopefully I'll see you in my next upload.